Thanks for joining us today on Breaking Ground with Gratomic. I am Glenda Green. Joining us is CEO and President Arno Brand. Welcome, Welcome. Arno. We're so happy to have you here with us today. Um, I just want to say congratulations to your the recent announcement that the Occam facility has gone into official commissioning. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and your plans for vertical integration? Hey, thanks for uh, having me, Glenda. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I mean, the commissioning of the outcome processing facility was quite a big achievement by the company. We've been working towards this for the last for the last three months on a very, very tight schedule. I'm happy that we were able to make our targets and um, you know, put out that release stating that uh, you know, we are now officially into the commissioning phase, which is expected to last between the next uh, three to six months as we're slowly putting the uh, processing plant into full production. Um, our anticipation for Vertical integration year is was recently announced um, through the partnership with Forge Nano. So Forge Nano's patented atomic layer deposition coating technology is a solution to increase anode durability, longevity, and conductivity. Once the process is proven effective on outcome graphite, Forge Nano will design and build a 1,000 ton per annum pilot facility, which the company plans to run out of its Lugids warehouse. After the pilot testing phase has been completed, Forge Nano will design and build a fairly commercial scaled ALD plant that will be housed in this warehouse. On October 8th, Gratomic announced that it had sent 243 kilograms of graphite for testing. Can you elaborate on that for us? So yes, initially, the 243 kilograms of material was sent to a laboratory for special treatment, um, specifically swearinizing and uh, advanced carbon coating. Um, this was in order for us to test um, our anode capability with Anzaplan out of Germany. There was such an increase in demand for this type of product from the Grutomic operations that uh, we decided um, to send a further 500 kilogram sample from Namibian operations through to the laboratory for um, processing of that material um, to add to the material that uh, the lab already prepared for Anzaplan. We'll also be using this material um, in the relationship we recently formed with Forge Nano so that they can test their advanced uh, carbon coatings on, on this material. We got to see on social media last week a video that there's still drilling going on at Auckland. Does this is this news for the PEA and NI43101? The drilling definitely plays into the PEA. Um, we are drilling very methodically, um, you know, really following the geology well. Our plan is to deliver to the market um, the highest set um, confidence model achievable. Um, through our drilling campaigns. Um, you know, hopefully soon we'll be able to announce uh, 80 to 120 um, completed drill holes since we started our drilling campaign. Um, looking forward to that. The results should be interesting. Uh, you guys are going to have to wait for that. Um, you know, we've seen some pretty interesting intersections, but, uh, you know, you can't really disclose that until uh, until uh, it goes public. So. I'm looking, looking forward to that. Thank you. Uh, there has been some talk uh, in recent interviews about expansion. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I'm more than happy to cover that part of it. Um, I can tell you Gritomic is currently fully permitted and on an environmental and mining scale um, to increase production to any point that the company desires. Um, uh, meaning the company can expand up and upwards of a hundred thousand tons per year if it wanted to. Um, you know, but uh, let's go back to the fundamentals of the processing facility outcome. Um, 
the front end of that processing facility is over-engineered um, to accommodate up to 60,000 tons per annum um, rate of production. The back end, very similar. Um, the only place that you require, really require um, expansion is the mid part of that circuit, which includes the mixing tanks and the flotation tanks um, with the addition of one thicker. And of course, there's uh, you know some air classification upgrades that need to be do done uh, mid circuit. Really, really easy to do so. Um, you know, very well engineered and well planned out facility. Um, you know, one of its one of the only ones in the world to process uh, main graphite. This leads me into my next question, Arno. I've noticed that Gratomic has been in a vigorous growth phase this this past few months, particularly, and is moving up the tiers in you know the OTC and other trading platforms. So, what ideally in a perfect world, would your your final target be for Gratomic as far as trading platforms? We do things extremely well thought out in advance. Uh, we start working on an idea and we build on that and you know slowly execute to meet our end objectives. Um, but generally it's a group and team effort. Um, it sometimes involves you know, 49 different groups coming together, collaborating, making sure that, uh, you know, we're meeting all our objectives um, or delivering into all of our objectives. Um, so as, as any company um, in our position would um, aspire towards, I would say ultimately, you know, achieving the biggest possible listing or the most prestigious listing possible um, on the most you know, prestigious platform possible would be our end goal. Um, you know, we're a few few check boxes away from, you know, making all the qualifications to upgrade to the TSX. Um, eventually, you know, I would say, you know, recently upgrading our QX, our, our US listing to uh, OTC QX listing um, is there's a reason for that. Um, you know, ultimately, seeking to uplist onto a larger um, platform in the US would be our end goal, um, like anybody else's. It's not inherent to us, but, um, you know, it's all about, you know, building shareholder value and adding base value to the company as you grow to make sure that it's a sustainable value. Um, and, uh, you know, building up towards that major listing that uh, everybody aspires towards. There has been some rumor that there's no institutional investment in Gratomic. Would you mind clarifying that for our shareholders, Arno? Um, so Gratomic has a fairly broad shareholder base. Um, I would say, although there's a vast majority of the stock held by high net worth individuals, um, I would say probably about 60 million shares or so of the company is currently held by high net worth in, uh, individuals. There is also a great component of institutional holding within the company. Um, institutional Institutions to date, to my knowledge, uh, hold over 25 million shares of Gratomic stock. Um, there's six major institutions that, you know, pride themselves on their Gratomic position and, you know, is always willing to continue adding additional shares um, to their existing portfolio. Um, so yeah, there's there's quite a diversified uh, shareholder base and including institutions within the company. Gratomic's last financing was 2.5 million in June of last year. Do you see that happening again? Is Or what's the current cash situation for Gratomic? Glenda, thank you for asking this question. I get asked this question probably, you know, three or four times a week. Um, you know, probably been offered about you know, 10, 15 different financings. And uh, I respectfully decline, um, you know, all of them. Um, you know, the current cash position in the company sits close to $10 million. Um, you know, we don't believe in over diluting um, our shareholders you know, quite frankly, I think uh, I'm very satisfied with the current cash position in the company. And it's, it's um, 
you know, it's substantial enough to continue operations uh, for the next year. So I'm not, not really worried about uh, financings or anything like that. It was recently announced that director and project manager Walter Luke stepped down. That must've been really difficult for him to do right as we speak when we're just getting things geared up with Gratomic. Walt has been a great supporter of the company since, you know, even before he joined as a director. He joined as a director to support Gratomic in a period where it was really transitioning from what it was into what it is today. Um, you know, we're going to be replacing his position on the board um, with, you know, somebody that is very close to the company. They've been very close to the company since day one. Um, you know, they also have an incredibly substantial holding within the company that uh, should should bring, um, you know, a larger insider position uh, to the table. Um, this is always good for shareholders. Um, I think shareholders, it will also solidify shareholder confidence, um, you know, in, in Gratomic's insider ability to, um, you know, show a fairly large um, interest within the business. And, uh, you know, we, we wish well, um, well in his future endeavors, you know, and hope that he, uh, you know, finds, finds uh, you know, all the success that this world has to offer. In closing, Arno, I just wanted to thank you again for your time. And, and we really appreciate you carving out this time for us today. We know how busy you are. Is there any final words that you may have for our shareholders? I'm incredibly pleased with, uh, you know, the continued investor support. Um, as any CEO would be. Um, we will continue to work hard to make sure we add value to the business on a continued basis. Um, we look forward to you know, future developments on the horizon. Uh, we're coming close to exciting times here. Um, you know, we're not yet a producing company. We will be soon. So uh, you know, for us, Protomic is really only starting.